Okay, good afternoon, Rodrigo. Uh, so Rodrigo is, is a business development manager at uh, New Infrared Technologies, and he's going to talk us about an, inno an innovative approach for laser welding QA-based in, in deep learning. Uh, so yeah, now we see your presentation and, and the room is all yours. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, thank you for attending this uh, presentation and this uh, webinar. So uh, the name of uh, the title of my presentation today is I3 Laswell, an innovative approach for laser welding quality assurance based in deep learning. And I'm going to describe uh, briefly our solution I3 Laswell, which we have developed together between NIT and NIMEN here in Spain as well. Okay. Just a short introduction of our company. We are a, a company that is located in, in Madrid and, and we develop um, and commercialize industrial solutions for real-time process monitoring and smart control of laser-based industrial uh, processes. We uh, develop these solutions based in cameras that we produce ourselves, uh, manufactured with a unique technology that makes uh, them sensitive in medium wavelength infrared band, uh, one to five microns. They have high speed capabilities and, uh, and cool performance at, at room temperature. Just uh, to show some of the solutions that we have uh, in the industrial market uh, for quality assurance, uh, I3 Laswell is the first one. This is the, the one I'm going to focus today in the presentation. It's a solution for inline real time defect detection of the, uh, during laser welding uh, processes. So it's a system of quality assurance of the laser welding process. Then we have Clamir, which I have presented already in a previous uh, webinar. It's a system for process control of uh, LMD and cladding. And then we have a monitoring system called I3MS, which uh, is, uh, performs a continuous measurement of the melt pool width. This is also used in additive manufacturing like LMD and cladding or in, in laser uh, welding. But um, Today, the presentation is um, about I3 Laswell, uh, which uh, I'm going to focus in the next uh, slides. So first, uh, I would like to give you a short overview of our solution. I3 Laswell stands for Inline Infrared Imaging uh, Laser Welding, and it's a quality assurance uh, solution for this uh, process. This solution uh, is uh, quite innovative because it combines uh, sensors like a, a high-speed infrared imaging camera based in uncooled, uh, in uncooled technology um, manufactured by us, and the software that is based in neural uh, networks. Um, and this uh, combination is capable to assess the quality of the laser welding process just by processing the infrared, <coughs> excuse me, the infrared signal uh, coming from the, uh, from the melt pool uh, that is uh, monitored uh, on axis. Uh, this solution uses uh, deep learning algorithms, and of course, we can train it uh, for um, to allow the detection of multiple uh, defections, in, uh, multiple defects in real time. In real time, we mean that the calculations are made uh, during the process time, and at the end of the process, uh, we provide a, an assessment of the quality. Okay, no okay, uh, right uh, shortly after the welding is finished. Some of these defects include the lack of fusion, lack of penetration, holes, uh, pores, uh, undercut, and others. Uh, one important thing is that the, the hardware is compatible both with fixed optics and with uh, and remote welding uh, systems on the fly, um, and also compatible with uh, multiple uh, substrate materials and welding uh, configurations, so it's quite flexible. Uh, it also allows some customization uh, to adapt uh, to the systems that are installed already in the welding cell of the, of the customer, like uh, quality assurance uh, solutions uh, that need to gather information about the quality of the, of the process. And the main industries where we are applying this system are automotive, of course, aerospace and, and steel. Some, um, um, some in, the slide, in this slide, I want uh, to show some uh, the configuration of the industrialized uh, solution. As you can see, uh, we base the solution in a high-speed uh, uncooled infrared camera model, Tachyon 16K Camera Plus. This is a camera that we produce. It has a resolution of 128 by 128 pixels with a maximum frame rate of 4,000 images uh, per second. 
and we communicate with the camera through an industrial interface, a Geeky Vision, with a Genicam 2.0. Uh, the camera is powered over the Ethernet and is uh, ruggedized with an IP67 uh, mechanical enclosure. Uh, from the computing point of view, the solution relies on an industrial PC with a dedicated GPU that performs all the calculations that are required for the assessment of the, of the process. And also, we have adapted the graphical user interface to an industrial environment, uh, showing the main results of the assessment and the statistics uh, of the manufacturing, uh, of the welding process. I will show you the, the graphic user interface in more in detail in the, in the next uh, slide. Here we can see a connection scheme of the of solution. Inside of the production cell, uh, we only have the, the camera, which is installed in the optical port of the remote welding head in this example. As I said, it's also compatible with uh, fixed uh, welding optics. Uh, we have an optomechanical integration that allows uh, compatibility with uh, another si other system that could be installed in the laser optics, like a seam tracking system that uh, are usually normally used in this kind of uh, welding optics. And um, the camera is connected with the computer uh, through an Ethernet connection uh, with power over the Ethernet. We use a cooling circuit. Uh, the camera is completely uncooled, so we need to, um, to provide a cooling, a water cooling, from, we normally take it from the laser optics in order to uh, minimize the heating transfer effect uh, into the camera during the, during the process. Then on the, right, on the right side, you can see the blocks for the, for the software. First, we have an image pre-processing block. In this one, we make a, an improvement of the, of the signal to noise ratio of the acquired images. Then the pre-processed image is transferred to the classification tool. Here is where the GPU is processing the data and it's comparing the, the results with a model that has been previously built uh, using a supervised learning uh, strategy. And then at the end, we pass the result to another block uh, that performs the quality assessment of the complete process. In this case, uh, some other criteria are taken into account. I will explain later how we build the model, but in, there are some other uh, criteria, quality criteria that need to be taken into account that are not part of the of the model uh, built into the in the neural network. So here we do a quality assessment, and in this block we are capable to say, okay, the process was okay or not okay. And then there are some outputs uh, to the classification robot just to dispose uh, the part that has been built if it's not uh, fulfilling, if it's not okay, or. Um, to another uh, magazine if the process was uh, was okay. And here we can take also data from the part serial number and tooling, uh, and tooling that has been used uh, for traceability uh, for traceability purpose. And of course, uh, we report to the quality assurance system uh, of the, the customer. Just a short, uh, a short uh, detail about the optomechanical integration. As I said before, uh, we have uh, designed the system so that it can keep the compatibility with other systems. In this case, there is, uh, you see the camera mounted on a remote welding optics where there is al already present a SIM tracking system. And we have- Sorry, the time Rodrigo, uh, you have uh, one or two minutes more, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. And then uh, we can, um, uh, we can um, uh, include our camera uh, without interfering in that, in that system. So um, this is a, a, an overview of how the system operates. You can see that uh, there is an acquisition of the infrared uh, image, and the system is uh, making um, calculations in real time to detect defects. Uh, in this case, we're seeing a defect. Uh, we're seeing a process uh, composed of 22 uh, wells where we have introduced a pattern. We have forced defects uh, so that we can see the pattern and we can test if the system is uh, working is operating uh, correctly. You can see that uh, there are some defective, um, some defective uh, welds. At the end, there is a statement, a quality assurance statement saying, or assessment saying if the process was okay or not okay. And we can keep traceability or, or some other uh, processes that have been made before. Um, 
Then to build a model, we use, of course, a supervised learning method. We need to uh, make a data collection phase uh, where we have to force errors and make a manual uh, tagging. In this case, you can see some examples of the lack of wealth that we have uh, prepared, some samples that we have prepared, forcing the error by deviating the beam from the regular well uh, track. And then uh, here down, here you can see the predictions of the system after it has been analyzed in the, by the neural uh, network. We have also other examples for a lack of penetration defect and other crit uh, quality criteria like the undercut depth and the in penetration and verification of the mod that the, that the system is working correctly. Uh, in this case, we are verifying against uh, OK samples. We have gone to the lab and we have made the um, microscopic uh, inspections and cross sections and we have checked that the wells are OK and the system, we have checked that the system is already saying that the that the process is okay. And then to finish, um, we made a, a, a validation in the, in the past um, for Volvo um, to test uh, the system against the detection of the undercut and relationship, uh, the relationship with the joint uh, width, and also to test the performance of the system in adverse conditions. In this case, we were detecting defects, uh, the undercut, holes, uh, pores, and the lack of penetration. And we showed that there was a, a high uh, detection uh, rate. Uh, in this case, we had a couple of uh, false negatives, sorry, false, uh, false negatives, false positives, but uh, this could be improved with a number of, increasing the number of, uh, of tests uh, to train the, the model. And with this, uh, I finish my uh, presentation, which I hope you found, uh, you have found uh, interesting. Very interesting, Rodrigo, thank you very much. Uh, it's impressive to see what the combination of the robot with the camera can do. Uh, I, I have uh, a simple question. So when you take these uh, machine learning algorithms, do you, do you use your, let's say, your own resources, or do you sort of subcontract or hire the, the resources from an online service like, I don't know, like Amazon services or and, and so mm. No, as I said, this system has been developed in collaboration with uh, between NIT and IMEN, and we are industrial partners. And each one of us has some um, some roles. Uh, of course, in the in the case of uh, testing the the metal uh, parts by the cross section and micro and microscopy inspections, we we rely on on, on IMEN uh, for that. And after that, with all this data, we do the labeling, the, the labeling of the samples, and we train the system ourselves. It's a, okay. a self-developed solution. Okay, okay, I see. It's very interesting. Um, Alex uh, Soares has a question regarding the first, that if your system depends on the material, and second, if, if, if it has to be a metal surface, and why the resolution is uh, that small, that only Okay, I, I will start with the resolution. It's the, this is the state of the art of the camera that we produce. As I said, it's a very innovative uh, sensor because uh, in mid IR and high speed and uncooled is something unique. This is a unique uh, technology and this is the state of the art that we have. So we use this camera. In fact, when you're looking at very small areas, you don't need that much resolution, but in this case, it's very important the temporal, the time, res the time resolution. That's what is really important because you need to look at the dynamics of the, of the melt pool. And what is um, the resolution that you have? This is the maximum resolution in the cameras that we have at the moment, yes. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, the, of course, the system needs to be trained uh, using the same uh, configuration that will be used in the, in the production cell, same material and same uh, process. And then uh, we are focusing on metal uh, welding or metal surfaces because uh, our cameras uh, they detect the starting in 100 Celsius, uh, so uh, they are mm, very convenient to be used in processes that are quite energetic, like metal uh, metal welding. So that's why we have focused this application into a, sorry, this system into that application in particular. Okay, okay, I see. So uh, we are a bit tight of time. There is uh, there are some more questions that if you leave your email here in the chat, they can contact you directly. Sure, uh, I will do that. As I said earlier on, we will upload all these uh, all these presentations in our YouTube channel, so you will have time to, to review them. So okay. thank you very much again, Rodrigo, for for your talk and for your time. Thank you.
and 